if she's watching. Well, I don't know what Marsha's doing. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Ooh, it's a big day today. You didn't tell me you were hitting button. You were punching it, so I had to spit my... <laughs> <laughs> I told you to turn your phone off. You ought to know. That means... Well, I thought you were just being bossy. Yeah, like, time to go. Time to go. Come on. Turn your phone off. Hi, yeah. y'all. Hello. It is the... I like saying this. It's New Year's Eve Eve. Yes, it is New Year's New Eve New Year's Eve. Eve squared. Hi. Hi, Allie. Hi, Jill. Southern Cal. Bet... Everybody can probably tell <clears throat> we had something blow in. We've got the allergies. Yeah. The allergies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cold and rainy out there. And it was like 61 degrees this morning when we got up. And now it's in the 40s. So it's cold here. And we both have allergies. So, you know. Yeah, last week we had this major like um, windstorm, I guess. And after that, it's like, oh my goodness. Hi, Julianne. Mary Kay. We got Houston. I know. <laughs> Happy New Year. Goodbye, 2020. Oh, hallelujah. I hallelujah. Know. Get off. Whew. But I hope everybody had a great Christmas. I did. Um, it was nice to have a break. We took a couple of days off for the close the shop and had just a really nice festive time. Guess what I got to do at Christmas? What'd you do? I got to come to your house. <laughs> and do dishes. Oh, I enjoyed it. I don't mind. I don't ever mind doing dishes as long as they're not my own, especially when I have a meal cooked for me. Are you kidding? I'll do dishes all day long if somebody cooks for me. Misty, you don't have to do the dishes. She cleaned up. So I know I make a mess. So, you know, it, it was, was really good. It was a good team. Hi, there's Pam. She's had bad mountain cedar. Pam is local, so she understands she what knows. we're talking about. Yeah. Oh, their Crooked River Ranch. That just sounds so nice. Oh, it does. It does. Who's sad to see 2020 go away? I don't think anybody. You know and what? I hate to say that because my grandmother would always drill in us. Don't wish away time. You know who was not going to be happy? Who? The sign companies. Right. Because now everybody has to have like a gazillion signs. True. And so I think the sign companies, their business might slow down when the pandemic slows down. Maybe. If and... it ever slows down. It's going to slow down. <laughs> And Uber Eats and DoorDash. Well, you know, I kind of admit, I was talking, actually, Julie's on here, my cousin, and we were talking about ordering. I, I did a pickup order for groceries, and I've only done this four times, and it's a little spoiling. Well, the, I'm amazed at what a good job they do picking out produce, because that was my biggest concern. I've never been disappointed. Well, they always have some substitutions, which, I, you know, it's... Hey, oh. As long as I don't have to deal with the people, I don't even care. Okay. Because I don't really cook anyway. I'm That's just an excuse for me not to cook. Oh, they had to substitute. Picky about my water. Your water? Yeah, I like... You like quality water? <laughs> like quality water. <laughs> and Tom Thumb traumatized me. Sorry if the Tom Thumb Pharmacy's here. They substituted my Dasani water for the Safeway Select water. No, you... Oh. <laughs> Hang on. When I open the door, I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> what am I going to do now? I'm going to go to the store. <laughs> May have to go next door. <laughs> you might. <clears throat> All right. Oh, Colleen, I am wearing Bella from Lip Sense with Glossy Gloss. Oh, hi, Alicia. Carol, I went to high school with her. Oh, I don't yeah. have any of my high school pals on here. Well, you never know. You might. I went to a really small school, so it's not surprising. <laughs> Well, there were 76 in my graduating class. There were a lot of people. I can't remember exactly what our graduating class was, but it was a lot. Yeah. So. I guess everybody read the the uh, headline. Oh, this is this is going to be fun. This is going to be so much fun. We've never. <laughs> We've done unboxings never... before, but we always had some sort of idea. I've never even heard of this scenario of a company making a product and the reps don't even have a picture of it. They have published no pictures. We, can, we don't even have a picture we can publish on the website. We're going to, after we open them, we're going to have to put them on a mannequin head and use that picture because there's nothing out there. But they're new and they're fully stocked. So anybody that's kind of gotten over this whole back order situation, these are in stock. Yeah. Are they cute? We're going to find out. I have know. no idea. I mean, it is crazy. This is a true, I mean, I know a lot of people say they do unboxings and they don't know ahead of time. I think, you know, how many times is that really real? Yeah. This is real, y'all. 
Yeah. <laughs> this is real. <laughs> uh, I even called it a blind unboxing because we didn't even, well, the box is down here. We didn't even open it. Um, let me get this no, out. it came in yesterday. And I'm like, you know what? I didn't focus the camera. Is I think oh, the focus okay. is okay. good. Let me get this out of the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am wearing Simmer by Raquel Welch in um, SS1222 or 1220. Sorry. It's RL1222SS. Um, and what are you wearing? Oh, this is Brooklyn from the John Renault collection in the Toffee Truffle FS630 slash 27. 6 slash 30 slash 27. Okay. Are we ready? Oh, I guess. I mean. I have the scissors. Might as well. I had to move the box. It's still sealed, y'all. <laughs> Our rep. Okay. First of all, she's Lori. Her name's Lori. And, and she she's so wonderful. Sweet. Um, but she's like, y'all are really going to do this? Like, she doesn't even know what they look like. Y'all are I'm like, yeah, we're really going to do it. So, oh, we're brave. Be it good, be it bad, this is it. Oh, and just this little plug. If you took advantage of our 12 days of Christmas sales and you got um, ordered on the free gift day, this was one of the free gifts, which was our squiggle scarf, which we have had for several years. We order this every year. So, I'm wearing it today. Well, the boxes are black. As per normal. <clears throat> I guess we just start with the one that's on top. Let's see. Starly? So Starly? Yeah, Starly. Okay. So we I'm going to put the box. We got uh, four colors of each. Okay. I'm going to put that down here so okay. we have more room. Okay. Starly. I have, ooh, I have the new color, Tahiti Blonde. I have Bon Bon. Did they, they didn't have a color, they didn't have a picture to you. No, blonde. there's not even a picture. <laughs> but even the rep, she was like, this is a new color, I don't even know. So, all right, so this is... Well, and I asked Miss Diego, don't the Tahitian girls have black hair? Well, this is a Tahitian girl on vacation. <laughs> Somebody, you know. Anyway, this is like Tony Beverly always comes. Darling. All right, so this is a lace front machine made cap I gotta get a liner on I forget about the color bonbon it's really pretty yeah bonbon is really oh cool. this looks cute it does look cute tahiti blonde is pretty it's really pretty it's a um cool tone blonde oh that's exciting but it's you know the sandstone really goes Sandstone can go so cool sometimes it looks almost gray. This is cool, but definitely still blonde. It kind of reminds me of a new updated at like 1822 back in the day. Okay, this. Okay, hang on. I need to get my mirror. Because <laughs> I can't tell what I'm doing. Well, first of all, ma'am, fix your liner. Y'all, I've been off a couple days. I can't get with the program. Comfortable cap as usual. Oh, Mimi Rosen just got her got her Mimi's package. She was a little late because she was getting her package. Okay. I like what they did in the back. Yeah. It's kind of a messy, not really curly kind of what what John um saw my grandmother calling everybody's name before they got it right. What's that company in the gray box? <laughs> Raquel Welch called Squiggle. This is kind of cute. Yeah. I like it because they had the machine made cap. So you've got more height than volume here. Let me get a little bit of a... I don't want to brush the back because it has that... It's cute. It is cute. It's real cute. They did good. Yours is uh, a little bit lighter weight on the bang, but this is cute. Let's switch. All right. So, Lori, if you're watching. <laughs> Lori, we can send you a pic. <laughs> she said she was going to watch today. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's hard with the way companies, because they're all working remote. So it's not like they're right at the warehouse anymore where they can just run down there and start looking at stuff. Okay, this somebody's asking me, and this is called Starly, S-T-A-R-L-Y, 
and this is the Tahiti Blonde. And Kim has on the Bon Bon now. Bon Bon? Bon Bon. I thought you said Blonde Bon. <laughs> no, Bon Bon. <laughs> oh, it's a cute wig. Starly. It is cute. Let's find the other two colors. Nice. I, I like this messy look. You could take this and kind of pull this down. Okay. I like. I like. All right, there you go. Okay. Oh, no, I'm hung. There we go. My mom always asks me, what do you do with those wings? You just pitch them over the side. I'm like, there's a shelf there. I put it on the shelf. I remember when the first time we went live and kept dropping. I kept losing my hair. <laughs> okay, so what are you doing now? I'm doing rooted, sands, rooted sandstone. Okay, I'm doing silverstone. Um, and the starly comes in a huge amount of colors. I already have this up on the website and listed all the colors out. Um, of course, you can't see this the picture styles, but you can see it now. But um, it comes in a few different grays. Oh, these caps are so Okay, Colleen, um, no, it's not as light as the Palm Springs. She's asking if it's like Palm Springs Blonde from John Renault. Uh, number one, it doesn't have the, you're talking about the Tahitian Blonde. It does not have a root, and it is not um, nearly as light. Blonde Blonde compared to Mochaccino. Uh, a little bit darker. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, yeah, you could use an airbrush. If you wanted to get it back away from your face, I mean, they're like, if you've worn wigs, you know, they're like freshly washed hair, so they're really soft in the beginning, but you could actually tease that back away with a little bit of product and get it to stay. Their lace front is great. Yeah. And um, these, this cap is comfortable. Yes. It's really comfortable. It is. <clears throat> I see this being a good seller. Yeah, I think they did a really, really nice job design-wise on this. Oh, I do too. Yeah. In fact, I see this fell on today. <laughs> it is cute. That color's gorgeous on you, Misty. This is your color. Let's try you. Let's switch. Him looks so amazing in the Silverstone. I have Hunter in Silverstone. By Tony Burton. Oh, yeah. oh, they did a good job. This is regular fiber. They don't make any heat defiant. Well, right. they do, but we don't really, you know. This is regular fiber. So someone asked if you could brush it. Um, what I'm doing is just brushing the straight part right here just to kind of separate those hairs. What are they doing up here? So they um, they put some lighter pieces at the front. Um, That's my widow's peak you're seeing. Yeah. So. Uh, we're Somebody was saying that they like the highlights in the front. Yeah, on Silverstone they do that. But with the, um, what are you in? Rooted, Rooted sandstone. sandstone. They do put lighter pieces so you don't get those dark knots at the front. Cute, cute. Um, Sandy, Tony of Beverly doesn't run smaller than other brands. They've got a pretty good stretchy cap. I wouldn't say they run large, but they run pretty true to size um, i have never had an issue wearing them and i have borderline large head well i do too and i'm even in the hunter which is fully hand tied i can wear that and it fits great so cute oh they do good this right. is going to be so lightweight for people who don't like a lot of hair but like a little bit and even though it has the machine made at the top it's not real poofy no from it's, it's pretty low and it's mm -hmm. balanced mm -hmm. Okay. Are we going to get lucky with the second one? That, oh. that was lucky. This is a really cute style. We'll see. And whenever we get the specs on it and some photos, we'll oh. always leave <laughs> yeah, it in there. We don't even have specs. Yeah, we were going to get a tape measure and we forgot that. Oh, okay. Um, somebody wants to see how deep the lace front is on the inside of the wig. So about oh about an, inch. about an inch at the very front, and then it tapers on the sides. All right, this one is called Ronnie R A N I, and I'm gonna try meats. I'm doing caramel kit. 
Ooh, it's long. Well, kind of. This is lace front as well, machine made. Okay. Got some layering. Okay, um, give me a minute. Uh-uh. Not as fun as <laughs> this one. Um, let's look at the back. It's got pretty layers. Um, and it's, it's pretty. It's pretty, prettier in the back than I like the front. This is a little too pageant for me. Um, you know, it kind of, if you've ever worn tress from, uh, Raquel Welch, it's kind of like a longer tress. Um, I just kind of feel like I need my guitar. <laughs> well, this is Texas. I know. But, you know, I mean, it's, it, it is pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. And it, it's a good wig if somebody wanted to do, like, they like their height and bangs, but they yeah. want to do an updo or something. Because... Well, that's true. This one would be a fantastic updo. Because so many times you do an updo and you have all these long pieces here and it's not very flattering around the face. Yeah. This could be really pretty. With the bang. Let's switch. All right. <clears throat> Terry says it looks like an 80s style look. It kind of does, but, you know, everything comes back around. It does. I don't have my glasses on, can you? Here, I can fix it. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't even bring my glasses. There. I'll okay. Okay. I'm growing out your mullet. Is that it, what Chubby said? Yeah. Jerry. Um, <laughs> Louise says, Loretta Lynn, here they come. I love 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 that they made a wig that's long and they did it in gray oh i do too because like i said in the right hands with some i mean these were straight from the box y'all petticoat mean, junction so if you like to wear your sides back or anything like that i mean it, it has and again they did options. the light pieces in the front what did i do yeah, and I am happy that it comes in gray. Yeah. Yeah. And if you've been, like Kim said, if you if you wear a style like Tress or something like that, this has the the lace front that Tress mm -hmm. doesn't have. And it has that Tony Beverly hair that is just, it feels so good. Yeah, the fiber feels great. It's, you know what, it's growing on me. It, is, mean, it sometimes is, me too. They just have to relax out of the box. Yeah, but this would be if it, it is pretty. So if you did like a little half up, half down. Yeah. And yeah, okay. straighten these out. I mean, because they're a little curled, but that's cute. Yeah. All right, we got other colors too. Yes. The gray color is called Minks. Yes, I'm sorry. I don't think I said that. Or did you? Well, uh -huh. I did. It's Ronnie, R-A-N-I. And I'm going to put on sangria. We had Tahiti, now we had sangria. We're just... And this is going to be rooted Maui gold. What I'm really excited about is that new color, that Tahiti blonde. That's oh, yeah. That's so pretty. Because that's going to be the closest thing that I think anybody makes to the 1621S Plus that Raquel makes. Everybody, uh, nobody else makes a color close to that. Yeah. I like this sangria color. It's darker down here. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty color. I always forget about some of their colors. Tony Beverly has such a huge color range. They do. 
Well, and somebody else wrote about curls. Yeah, curls are hard to find. And so it is always nice. And do you know what we hear a lot? They're tired of the beachy wave. Yeah. They want a little bit more of a defined mm -hmm. kind of hot roller. Like they've spent some time on their hair and not like they've went outside and messed it all up. Um, so this has a little bit more of that fixed kind of curl, you know, and like I said, the bangs, bangs are hard to find. Yeah. And in a longer wig. And light lace front. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't have a very big forehead and these are definitely not too long for me. No, but I think you're right. Kind of straightened out mm -hmm. and maybe over. But yeah, this is a great, great, great updo. Okay. Oh, and the shaded cappuccino that Greg has. She's asking if there's anything that anybody else makes that's close to that now. Um, you know. Well, the rooted sandstone. Rooted sandstone is going to be fairly close. Yeah. Sissy says she has a Tony Beverly color ring. And she said it weighs a ton because there's so many different colors. Yeah. And our rep, she's like, oh, you know, the fashion colors. Is, and I'm like, there are literally like 972 colors in Tony Beverly. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, let's not talk about fashion colors versus regular colors. Well, okay. What's your take? All right. So I think this style fits a whole that no other company is really doing right now. Mm -hmm. And it's it's actually feeling something that we've had requests for that's, you know, a little bit longer with layers and um, an updated right. version of like the Felicity from Renee Paris. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a little shorter. It's got a little bit more curl than Felicity. It's less hair than Felicity. And Felicity doesn't have the lace front. <gasps> Patty would like yeah we have a client named patty that she would really like this yeah so i can i mean i i don't think anybody else makes anything quite like this plus you get the nice nice tony beverly uh fiber mm -hmm. but definitely hands down the winner the star of the show <laughs> is starly is starly yeah i yeah. may have to have that i just don't know what color to get um it comes in a lot more colors than even this one so so cute, cute. okay so that was our first real live unboxing. Well, well this never had this may not happen again where yeah because we there's just, no information. When you follow all the wig companies on social media and you follow other people, they're always posting like anticipation photos like you know this is coming up, coming up. This in this was something that if Kim hadn't called, we would have never even <laughs> known. So we were just she was getting ready for Wig Talk Wednesday last week and she's like, "Let me just call and see what's coming up." And it's lo and behold, something new. Um, Shelly's asking if they have a red that doesn't get, to get darker at the bottom. Oh, yes, they've got a ton of different colors and they've got some beautiful blended reds that are you not going to have the darker. One of their bottom. prettiest colors, I think, is the dark auburn. Yeah, dark. oh, it's just it's got some vibrance to it, but it is such a pretty, pretty color. All right. Well, that was exciting. That was ex that was fun. That was fun. I don't know what to do with that Um, it's over there. So, if you're waiting just to talk about last week's craziness, hold on, Marianne. They're available. They're oh. in stock. Mm -hmm. So these are the only four that we received. But you can go on the website and order them. We'll get it in for you. We'll ship it out as soon as we can. But they do have a good stock. A good stock. So we'll be. It, as far as back orders, um, they're not in that situation. Yeah, no. If you want it ordered today, we'll get it in and ship it. Someone's asking if we know of a sister style to curve appeal. Hmm. Got that bang. We'll have to think on that one. Because it's got... It, it's got a bang, and then it's got... I want to say that um, the Reeves by Aesthetica or the Orchid. What's one you wear? <laughs> I never can get it right. Yeah, um, Orchid's got more layers and it doesn't have that bang cut in it like um, Curve Appeal does. But Orchid would be pretty close. Uh, Cindy's asking if we can put on the first wig again in Silverstone. Do you have it or do I? I?
gladly. <clears throat> All right. Are you going out tomorrow night? No. <laughs> Me either. I'm going to, I may go to a friend's house. No, I will be sitting at home. I, I won't even watch the ball drop. Are you kidding? I'm usually in bed by Is nine. Is the ball dropping? Because I heard that they closed all that. So I can't tell. I mean, surely they'd drop the ball. Yeah. I mean, that's. But I guess. <sighs> This is There's not, not going to be anybody stone. there. Is this Silverstone? This is Rudy No, Sandstone. that's not Silverstone. It's Silverstone. We got our, we got our boxes mixed up. Let me give you that. Oh, um, Jerry, I've got uh, Cimarron by Raquel Welch. It's a heat-defiant fiber. I absolutely love this wig, but I will tell you, it frays up and knots up. And I will ha I have to have it re-styled almost every time I wear it. So it's kind of a dress-up wig for me. But I love it. Okay. You've just got to be committed to... Working with the heat defiant fiber and taking good care of it so you keep it all nice. Oh, someone was asking if there was a color like that. This is good to show right next to it. Oh, yeah, that is. So, this is the Tony and Beverly Rooted Sandstone. So, if you are used to wearing this color in Raquel and want to switch over to Tony and Beverly. Okay, so Janet says the ball will drop. And I Thank guess, goodness. I mean, I guess they'll have concerts where it's their like concerts with nobody there. But that they'll have surely a musical entertainment. I'm so ready for the real world to come back. <laughs> Everybody's jumbled in and coughing on each other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making a lot of it. I'm really not. Um, anyway, somebody asked to put this back on. So here is the style again. Yeah. It's so cute. Brenna says they'll drop it, but it won't fall on nobody. No. Um, yes, you could cut a bang into this because it is regular fiber. It would cut really, really easy. So what Misty has on is called Starly, S-T-A-R-L-Y. And you're going to put it in the notes, right? You'll put it's a, yes. OK. And it's on there on the website if you want to go see the color range. right? OK. Um, is it Loida? She said there's concerts, ball drop, confetti, dress rehearsal was yesterday, so. All virtual only. Yeah, but she's in the know. My goodness. Uh, Linda, lots of things come in Bon Bon. You really just, it's hard to tell. Like I yeah. said, Tony and Beverly is, they have a huge, huge color range, but they just, they pick and choose what style. So mm -hmm. you'd have to actually go find the style first. Probably. Yeah. Or uh, maybe go to their website and type in Bon Bon and make them up that way. And that is a razor cut in the back. Mm -hmm. Um. So somebody was asking about that. Um. Any Tony Beverly like shaded biscuit? They got lots of rooted blondes, but a lot of them are really They're, gold. Yeah. They don't, they don't go cool. Um, mm -hmm. They they do light, but when they do the light, it does go kind of warm. Um, Bets, Betsy's asking if we can try the Starly on in white. We don't have it in white. It comes in it, um, but we just ordered four of each. So. Yeah. So Marianne says she just ordered Starly. So it's Good. cute. I'm Good telling you. I, I can't wait to call Lori and tell her that I think this is going to be hit for them, which, yeah. you know, I'm. I'm I'm proud for Tony and Beverly because I, I always too. love I love them. I do too. They've been around so long, you know. They're an established company. Their fibers, you know, it kind of speaks for itself. So, all right, what do we got coming up? We got oh, we got good stuff in January. I can't talk about it, but it's good. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if I know. I was sworn to secrecy. Oh well, we all know you're not that good at keeping secrets. So well, I'll I don't know. <laughs> Raquel Welch has exciting stuff coming out. Mm -hmm. Aesthetica does. Oh, um, Renee, that, that was kind of secret. Renee yeah. Paris. John Renault. John Renault. We've all got good secret uh -huh. stuff coming out. And it's it's good. It it's is real good. good. So, but if I don't keep my mouth shut, they won't tell me anymore. So. Oh yeah, I was talking to one of our reps one time, and and she was telling me about a new style. She's like, "But you can't tell anybody because if you if you tell people, then I'll lose my job." And I'm like, "You know what? I can't keep a secret that well, but I'm not going to cause anyone <laughs> to lose their job." And so, um, thankfully, she still works there. Yeah. But anyway, 
All right, Starly, Ronnie. All right, Missy, twice someone's asked what color lipstick you have on. Oh, this is Bella. I have only one coat on. This is Lip Sense Bella with just a glossy gloss. Yeah. I wasn't in a real. And I've got Fly Girl with glossy, and it's just my normal type thing. How early? Um, Lori, I'm thinking it's going to be somewhere mid-January. It's going to, unfortunately, it's going to be after the 9th when you come see us. Lori's coming to see us on the 9th. I saw that. Yeah. All the way from, oh, she's driving all the way up from midnight, Mississippi. Yep. Not really midnight, but that's just a line from movies. You know, because I quote <laughs> random movies all the time. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, Cindy wants to know about the Starly cap inside. Both of the styles that we showed you today are a lace front with a machine-made cap. They are a little bit different. I'm not sure why. This is the top of the Starly. Um, and then the other one has a little bit more of a vintage top. Oh, you're right. Um, but they both have the same lace front. I the think the um, Ronnie the Ronnie has a little bit deeper lace front than the Starly. Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You got Ronnie. I got Starly. I would like to know how they come up with these names. Polly wants us to come to Michigan and have coffee with her. I fine. have not had coffee in two days. So I'm on my well, way. Well, that what's wrong with you? <laughs> it could possibly be. But you know what? I ain't had coffee, but I got my. You got your coat zero, and there's no longer a shortage. So all is right in the world. Kim, someone wants to know about your eyeshadow. Oh, well, it's a new palette I got. I'm not really sure what the name of it was. <clears throat> Remember when I showed you that new palette? Is it not, it's not Morphe, though, right? It's not Morphe. Sorry, I can't remember. I, I'll just buy. I go on Ulta, buy different eyeshadow palettes and then we just play um we like makeup <laughs> <laughs> we need to do another get ready with this video oh one. there's tom thumb but i don't know if it's the tom thumb pharmacy just tom thumb what were we saying we couldn't tell, mention about tom? about the water oh substitution can you please tell them not to substitute <laughs> kim's water with the Safeway brand, because she likes to sauna. Oh, bonjour. We have, we have a little diva here. What is that called? Remember, I, like, when Mariah Carey was, like, she had to have Evie on in her dressing room? <laughs> she okay, this is the pot calling the kettle black. We all have our I clothes. don't even drink water. So. We all have our <laughs> All right, we've digressed. Oh, all we right, have. I hope everybody has a great, safe um, New Year. We'll see you next week, and... We'll start trying to peel away all the information for what is new and exciting coming up in 2021. So we're going to put a close to 2020. Yes, we are. This is our last show of 2020. And why did it just hit me when we're talking about New Year's Eve being tomorrow? Well, now don't cry. <sighs> I might. I might cry too because Anne Charles says that she loves her new sky. I just sent that to her last week. Um, Patrick, I do buy Fiji. Fiji's my favorite water. But at Tom Thumb, when I'm doing the online groceries, I order the Dasani. Uh, but I, yeah, Fiji's my favorite. Is water not just water unless it's not, from the faucet? No, Fiji's good. Well, maybe if I tried Fiji, I would drink more water. It's like saying, oh, when I get a new oven, I'll cook more. Yeah. Or, you know, when I get, you know, new walking shoes, I'll walk more. Oh, Mimi says, thank you for host doing the 12 Days of Christmas. We had, oh, we didn't even talk about it. We had the best time with 12 Days of Christmas, and we had time. It was we, we had so much fun combining the orders, and anyway, we're still trying. Uh, we still have, you know, the Gia's are coming in. I had no idea how many Gia's we were going to yeah, sell. Yeah, so I think we'll get them, I don't know, today or tomorrow, and we'll get all that stuff shipped out to you, so. <laughs> I think, uh I don't know if Lori's saying that this is a quote from me. She said, water makes me gag. I don't <laughs> know if she's saying that I said that or if that's her agreeing with me. Now, I, I just, one of these days I'm going to like to drink water. It's good for you. <sighs> All right. Y'all have a great new year. We will see you next week. And thank you for watching. And thank you for a fantastic year. Yes. Bye, y'all. Bye.